little huckleberries welcome to a very exciting video i'm coming to you from the volcano rainforest retreat bed and breakfast on the big island of hawaii i've spent the last two nights here and i'm so excited to give you a little tour of the guest cottage where we have been staying so come on over This is the guest cottage. This actually houses up to six adults. So it is their largest cabin on property. They have four cabins total, which I will be showing you guys in a little bit. Here we have our front lanai. It is the perfect place to start your day with some tea or coffee. Let's go inside. So the first place that you enter is the dining area and kitchen. This is a bed and breakfast, so they are providing breakfast daily with pastries, fresh fruit, anything you can really imagine. As you can see, it is a fully functioning kitchenette. Another really special thing about the food that they're providing is just the plethora of local options. This is locally made granola. They even have locally made sugar, honey. Behind me, we have extra storage, and they even provide custom-made volcano retreat robes. One of my favorite things about this place. <laughs> Next stop is our living and sleeping spaces. Come on over here. So this is our main living space. This futon couch does pull out into another bed, it's quite cozy, with these beautiful bay windows looking out over the rainforest. And another one of my favorite things about this unit, as well as multiple units on this property, is this amazing fireplace. We are at about 4,000 feet elevation, so the evenings and the mornings can get quite cool, which is so refreshing while you're in Hawaii. Before I show you the loft area, let's go to the bathroom. bathroom. <laughs> so as you can see, this bathroom is the most immersive room as far as being a part of nature. This is an epic view. All right, let's go up to the loft. Welcome to the loft. This is where I have gotten to sleep for the last two nights. The second I wake up, I usually crack open this back window, let a little breeze in, looking out over the bamboo forest behind me. Everything about it up here just gives you that really nice, homey, cozy kind of feeling. This unit also features a covered carport as well as one other additional parking spot and access to a private hot tub. Now that I've shown you guys the guest cottage, I'd love to show you the rest of the properties at the Volcano Rainforest Retreat Bed and Breakfast. This bed and breakfast features four secluded cottages located just outside of Volcano Village and Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. With the guest cottage being the property's largest rental unit and the most suitable for families, the other three cottages might be considered even more serene than the first. The sanctuary cottage is their most intimate unit. With windows on every wall, it creates a complete immersion into the surrounding rainforest. 
With an outdoor shower and Japanese soaking tub, this is the perfect getaway to declutter the mind, body, and spirit. The next unit is called the Forest House, offering the same intimate connection to nature with a few extra conveniences, including access to a private jacuzzi. And for visitors seeking out a premium experience, there is the Bamboo House, embellished with stained glass, etchings, sculptures, and paintings, all made by local craftsmen and artists. This unit can house up to six people, or it makes for a romantic and upscale retreat. The rainforest is a feature in and of itself. At 4,000 feet elevation and rain coming unpredictably, this bed and breakfast promotes a cozy atmosphere for rest, romance, and relaxation. This is the best place in Hawaii to snuggle up by the fire or go for a heated soak at night or in the morning. Hawaiian elders came to bless the land and each cottage on the property as they were built, to ask the garden spirits for protection, as well as to honor native Hawaiian tradition. Being in business for 24 years, the Volcano Rainforest Retreat Bed and Breakfast has become a staple in the quaint artist's community of Volcano Village. This is undoubtedly a very special place. All right, so I wanted to take a moment and introduce you to one of the owners of the Bed and Breakfast here. This is Kathleen. Thank you so much for letting us come here. Can you just explain a little bit about how this place came to be with all of these little structures tucked away throughout a forest? We wake up every day and we go, we live here, we did this, <laughs> what came over us, you know? <laughs> but basically, we fell in love with the native rainforest mm -hmm. and the national park. You know, we didn't have a lot of resources at that time, so we just took our time and lived on the land. And then about three years later, I wanted to build a small structure for my counseling work, because mm -hmm. I'm a marriage and family counselor. I think from this beauty of this forest <laughs> inspired me. Yeah. I decided I wanted a roundhouse, mm -hmm. and I wanted a place where I could do my counseling work and my meditation, do my um, healing practices. And then something told Peter he wanted to build again. So he bought this next, the next half acre, and we built the 12-sided roundhouse where we live. So then we had that extra cottage, and we thought, oh, we'll rent it to travelers to the national park as a bed and breakfast. And so that's what happened, and Fromer's guide came out to, to write us up in their guidebook, and they saw the sanctuary, <laughs> my counseling space. They put in the book, if you beg the Goldens, they might rent you. So all of a sudden, we had two cottages, and we hadn't planned it that way. It just happened. I think it's part of some bigger scheme that yeah. this forest wanted to use us mm -hmm. and to share the beauty of this place with people from all over the world. Yeah. And that's what's happened. So it all kind of organically grew up over time. Well, we would really be delighted if people came here and saw that people can live in harmony with nature, to build small and to live in relationship to the, the natural environment all around. So we would be delighted if people came here and were enchanted by that and inspired to go back in their own lives and love nature, respect it, live in relationship to it, and learn from it. We don't just live in isolation with nature near a national park. We have a beautiful community. Mm -hmm. It's not overdeveloped. A lot of places by the national parks, the gateway communities, are so overrun by commercialism. Mm -hmm. But this place is in a native rainforest, so it's sort of been protected from that. Yeah. And what we love is a blend of scientists and artists that live here. Mm -hmm. Scientists who study the, the botany and, and the geology of the magnificence of the park and mm -hmm. the volcano, and the artists who are inspired by it. So if you guys are interested in learning more about this bed and breakfast, as well as the town of Volcano, I could not recommend it more. I will be linking everything down below for you guys to check out. Thank you, Kathleen. Thank you so much for giving us the time and showing me this amazing place. This has been one of the best weekends I've ever had. So. Thank you for bringing all your aloha to oh, Of course. Okay. We got a little bit. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to share it, give it a thumbs up. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Peace. Aloha. <laughs>